the last sequence, my last vision, the final image I was to comprehend was the sun's brilliance. Combined with heat I had never felt before, all reaching their zenith in an instant. An instant later, we all were gone. Observers standing watch on our frigates say the sky became as bright as noon. Others claim the explosions rivaled the fireworks on the 4th of July when we celebrate our independence. Night became day, became night again in a second. No one knew if our endeavor had succeeded. By dawn's early light, we had our answer to the tale. Richard Somers walks from the ship's wheel. The pirate fleet floated, unaffected, while Intrepid's ashes were spread across the waters, cremated, much like the remains of modern men. Eleven bodies washed ashore, so unidentifiable and badly burned. The only way to determine Intrepid's officers from the sailors who had served them was the softness of their hands. Intrepid had ignited prematurely while closing on her targets, incinerating catch and crew, the pirates, for no cost at all. No one. Not I, nor anyone ever knew what transpired. Some believe Intrepid and her crew met their end as a result of an accidental detonation. Others claimed we had miscalculated time and distance for maximum percussion and repercussion. All one knew is that we had failed. Or did we? Just as in the days of duels, one would be within the right to question why we pursued such a treacherous avenue at all. And there's the rub. For the pursuance of said line of reason slowly suffocates the breath from life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. It threatens to strangle democracies, from the Greeks to the one which exists from the meeting of our minds, our hope, our dreams, within its cradle. If one allows and permits pirates of all forms to assault and board and seize it with specious claim on how much we would be better off sailing beneath a different standard. They play their trade, aided by ignorance, ours, indolence, and indifference. Remaining true to our North Star by standing firm, standing with, and standing up for our freedoms passed down from generation to generation, greeted those who would succeed in laying waste to our democracy. Democracy, that abstract ideal, birthed and missed, unyielding assault, which appeals to our own self-lish, our own selfishness, our own self-interest, our own self-preservation, safeguarding what we have and could well lose has been our fight, since we all proclaimed all men to be created equal, imbued with certain inalienable rights. What is the anatomy of a hero? Tis time to examine your own, pick up your standard, defend your freedom, roughly wrought and paid for throughout time in our blood. One need not require pistol shots 
and pyrotechnics to prove they are up to task. Merely standing watch, standing sentry, standing vigilant against tyranny. Such qualities must never be abandoned against tyranny, for they are more than mere requirements. They are the stuff of heroes.